Welcome back to part 2 of session 8 of the Keepers of the Golden Gate. It is the 16th of June 2019. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are my players. Hi, I'm Callum. I'm playing a human sorcerer called Eric Greenwood. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya, who is a half elf druid. Hi, I am Scott. I play a crumbar who is a half orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Katie LaKill, a tabaxi rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. I do love a crumbar. It's just a great place. I know, I picked up as well. Yeah, I didn't want to comment on that, but it's yeah. Fine. I appreciate everyone yeah, not commenting. Yeah, yeah. Probably more accurate. <laughs> you, have, you, have, you, have, you have acquired a crumbar. Please, please, get yeah, a doctor immediately. So, no disadvantage of all rooms. <laughs> So yeah, um, do the people watching, I would just jump straight back in, uh, the people on watch, etc, uh, go wake up everybody else, or what happens? People, because obviously you're pulling up to the oh, kind of like port. Uh, on, sorry Ryan, uh, so when you're going on about the people watching, I thought you meant the people watching the stream. No, no, but them too, hello everybody who's watching, thank you for joining us. Uh not giving us the a end. picture. Right. Uh, Eric, can you go wake the them up it's their turn for <laughs> actually we've reached the, the yeah you, you're pulling the boat into dock that's why you want to wake them up yeah wake them up especially captain we need help here can i um use for uh, like for the clap to wake up i'd rather you kept your spells you probably need them soon <laughs> but... <laughs> but this is a cantrip so it's fine yeah it's up to you uh i look at reach and go should have wake them all with a spell I think just appreciate more of a a personal gesture. Uh, just, just go away. Shout to them instead. Yeah, okay, so I go downstairs and uh, I wake everyone up. I start. I go up to people and uh, rock them a bit. Go, look, guys, we're here. Wake up. I go over to Kitty and just kind of flip the hammock. I think um, so. As he like runs away to go do all this, I think Aramos looks up at you, Reach, and I. Uh, he kind of just sighs really loudly and kind of rolls his eyes and I kind of looks back at you really quickly. What's up, Eremos? And he's like, he's really strange. Let's be fair, he's, prob he's not really the only strange one. <laughs> See, I thought the big one was the strange one. <laughs> he's just a noise dude. one. <laughs> yeah. I thought we didn't like noise. He kind of looks up at you as if expecting you to agree to, with him. I'm not used to noise. Yeah, it's taking me some time to get used to it. He kind of just like nods like off into like the distance and that kind of not really paying attention but kind of agreeing. And to be fair, yeah, you're probably not used to noise as well. You've been quite quiet where you've been. So. Quiet meditation. To read and write, and he kind of just nods again. I think I would just pretty much nod at that as well. That's, yeah. yeah, and then we'll click downstairs to like Kitty being flipped out of the bed. Just <laughs> 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 uh, all come upstairs, grab all your gear, etc., etc. I do. Cool. Yeah. Trying everybody gets their stuff. Uh, yeah, Crumbar so. gets his armor back on. Just while Who there. gets the captain? I'll go. Like, okay, I won't go upstairs. I'll go get toward the captain, where the captain is quarters on. Yep. So the the back of the ship, um, you head there. Uh, do you knock on the door? Do you walk in? Like, what do what do you do? I knock and go, captain. And you kind of a. Uh, you don't hear anything for like a minute. And then you hear um, like footsteps, and then the door opens, and it's a uh, Dimitri. It is kind of big, kind of matted, brown-haired beard that he's got, and he's just kind of looking at you. His eyes are like bloodshot. We've arrived, but are you all right after what happened? He kind of just grunts at you, and he's like, "I'll." I'll see you on on the deck. 
and he kind of just like doesn't he close the door his hand just kind of like falls by his side and he just kind of like slowly kind of walks back into the room so do, do you head in to further that do you, do you go upstairs do you carry on getting your stuff like what does what does eric do i like i kind of just like like open the door and go I, i'm really sorry we, we, we possibly could have saved her but it like it you, just happened all in an like instant. a kind of metal kind still of still speaking to him like a metal kind of cup thing as soon as you say that like, we could have saved her like smacks off the wall uh, very violently and then you just hear him say don't don't tell me that. I kind of hang my head again. But sorry again. I just walk off. Walk up to the deck. Yeah, and like if you got far enough round, like you've got like um, I'll actually show you where you would be just now. Let me just move everybody to the ship, and then um, wood, wood, ship. I'll uh, come in a second to adjust the viewpoints for those at home. And then I'll move Eric. So, Eric, you were here. And then you went through into here. And then you went down. And yeah, so she's lying dead on the bed. And he's just sat at the, the foot of the bed, kind of like restless. Yeah, um, yeah. Look at, looking at her body, just like, nah, I'm just, I'm gonna leave after saying that. Just saying sorry again. <laughs> and they just awkwardly get the hell out of there, yeah. 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 Yup. Jed back upstairs, Jed back into the, like the hold. What do you do? Um, I go back upstairs and go, uh, go to the front of the ship so I can get a clear review of the or the Citadel, sorry. Or whatever it is that we're approaching the harbour. There we go. Got people back up stairs. Uh, you're approaching like a kind of small harbour thing, yeah. But yeah, let me just move that. And yeah, like the... Uh, Find where he's disappeared to. There he is. He'll take over from Reach. Kind of silently. Just uh, later, do we? Yeah, I think um, Aramos goes to ask him something. <laughs> do you stop him speaking, Reach? Or yes, do you? <laughs> I do. Just can I be can yeah. him and put my finger to my lips. Just, yeah. He looks a bit like annoyed at first, but then he kind of just like his brow unfurls and he just kind of looks down. Quietly, <laughs> and like kind of steps to the side, hops off the chest, and you know, take takes your lead as it were. But yeah, so he's um, see the kind of port. He's pull up. Dimitri takes over very eloquently. He's arrive. A uh, Arnold. Uh, gets everybody to assemble, getting ready to depart. So nobody's taking any other nonsense actions. We'll see. And uh, Arnold goes up and uh, has final words with Dimitri that nobody can hear. Very, very intimate personal words. Uh, and then, yeah, you all head off into the little kind of port town. Uh, as I said, it's pretty much just the equivalent of like a small kind of fortified structure and a couple of people going about their business. A, from a glance, both Crumbar and a Reach can tell and just know these are all the Order people. Like they all work for the Order. Um, this is kind of their functioning port, as it were. It's not as big as a city port because obviously there is no city here. Um, mm. And it's still a fair trek to get to the uh, the actual Golden Citadel itself. So uh, yeah, do you use do anything in here? I as I said, rations. Yeah, I was gonna say rations. 
Uh, we should definitely get some. Cool, yep. Who's got money? Uh, we all should have money. Mm -hmm. I do. I've all got some money. I have oh. no money. We bet. Ken's got no money. <laughs> oh, it's all tied up in shares back home. <laughs> Let Hagen. <laughs> your financial advisor, you need to look with it. His financial panther. <laughs> um, I'm not the head of this family, so <laughs> I'm like one of the children. What else is there? Like, what kind of shops and stuff and stalls are there around? There, there's nothing like that there. It's just, it's like a fishing port. I, and they clearly just get supplies and ship them back to the Golden Order. Well, that's it. Mm. And anything nice. that's been docked by trade ships for the Golden Order. Must have some way of given ships food so they must have some kind of rations even if it's dried fish or something that's salted dried fish but yeah as i said like there's a fortified kind of structure here a bit like a very small keep um but like that's pretty much it it's like one main kind of building as it were um and a couple well, of like storehouses well let's head in there and see if we can get some supplies because food is good Yep, so as I said, he's going. Obviously, if you're looking to pick up stuff, a donation is expected. Because nothing's free here. They'd have to justify it. Trade, etc. Okay, is there a suggested donation amount? Yeah, it's in the player handbook under what rations cost. <laughs> um, <laughs> what about staff discount? <laughs> <laughs> I think um, you're wearing it. <laughs> Kitty's uh, carrying it. <laughs> they can't see that. So, five silver for one day's rations. So, two rations per gold. Two rations per gold. How many do I have? Okay, I uh, Crumbar uh, goes up and purchases two rations. Yep, of, cool. Of the store master guy. Yeah, like court master. So that's yeah. At five. That's at third. I think we could do more than two rations per person. More. Well, I've got that's me up at five now. So. Yeah, I'm on five, and I'm thinking of getting ten. So really? We're walking into the desert here. That is a very good point. That is a very good point. Um. Mind you, we've got someone with good berry, but that's still. And we've just used uh, five these past few. Yeah, actually. So, what what would five rations cost, though? That would be ten gold. Two gold, gold five silver. silver. Is it ten gold? Ten, no, it was uh, another way. Yes, yeah, the other way. Five two gold. And, two and a half gold. gold. Yeah. yeah. Wait, have, what? Yeah, so two and a half gold. That's two gold, five silver. Right, 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 yeah. Um, I sure just... Go up to 10 rations each again, thanks, and that. Oh, but... um, I've got no money, so I can't buy them. Yeah. So, yeah, so if I move that up to 10 rations, that'll be... Then you have to cash in some of your kill count, I think. Mm. Right. Eric, there's five rations. Five? Yeah. Do you get any rations on you at all? You do have five, don't you? I have five, yes. Yeah, cool, right. So you're up to ten. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. It's not a problem. I will take that and uh, I owe you. Yeah, yeah no, the, so that could... Yes. <laughs> uh, how many, sorry, Ryan, how many silver are there to a gold? Ten. Ten. Yeah. So that will be five. That will be... Everything else done their ration maths? Ten. Yeah, cool. Well, that's me that's me at ten rations. How many rations did we use? We oh. used five. Five. Oh okay. I would recommend being at least ten anyway, but that's yeah. what I've just put up to. Um what else is there in the warehouse? What do you mean? What are you after? Like is it just having a gander to see what else might be of use like arrows I mean like, I can't answer you know, that really because I mean what of, is of use is something you need to tell me what would you find of use to find here and I'll tell you if it's here or not uh, I look for health potions 
Uh, no. Oh, and mana potions. Are mana potions a thing in this? No. Right. You don't find anything like that here. Okay. Um. Health potions are pretty rare. Are they? Yeah. Right. Um. I mean, think about it. It's literally like fucking healing temporal magic, right? So, yeah. so. Is oh, there undo any, damage. <laughs> is there any coloured ink? <laughs> yeah, there's gold ink, obviously, because that's it's golden mm. order outpost. Uh, any armor or anything like that that would be better than the kind of stuff we have? No. 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 Nope. It's worthwhile sending a message back to the, the Golden Dragon just to say we've made it. Throwing a little bit of problems on the way. It's up to you. You could leave a note. You could obviously leave a note, yeah? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. There's no doubt a ship going back that way, as I would expect. Mm hmm. Just leave it, they'll go to the order to see if, if this could be sent back. What do you say? So, literally, we've reached the destination port. We're now heading out to the abyss. Uh, we had a little bit of trouble on the seas, but we managed. We survived. Mm -hmm. we this well, yeah. should we not go into the Citadel to find out what is actually happening at the abyss? The plan is for you to head to the Citadel first. Yeah. I'm thinking though, this is the port, this is where people will be moving about, so that's effectively where the messengers would be. Yeah, no, no, that makes sense. Oh, it's just yeah. obviously, I think what Crumbar was saying is because your message said we're going to the abyss, I think he got worried that you weren't going to go to the oh, citadel right. first yeah. and then. Aye. That's what I thought was, yeah, like, right, that's what right. I Going to the abyss via the citadel. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. So, do you want to put in the fact that you're heading to the abyss in this message? I wouldn't. I personally would have, like going yeah, to do this. Not. It just depends what would what would Reach put in it though, because keep in mind I doubt, I doubt Reach would consult everybody to leave this message. Uh, I would reckon we would pretty much all be there, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, we head into the Citadel and continue in our ju our journey afterwards. Yep, and you hand it over to like the clerk, as it were. Yeah, yep. that's a bit weird, it? Good idea. Yeah, and they just um, they kind of like raise an eyebrow, and they're like, sure. I'll uh, pass it up the chain. Because obviously people don't just usually mail the Great Gold Worm. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even going to tip him? Jesus. You're shoddy. <laughs> <laughs> Messages are cheap. They're just slow, but they're cheap. Yeah, like within the order, it's reasonable to say you could send messages to other like outposts and shit, yeah. Um, yes. that's, that seems reasonable. Just part of the service of being a paladin. So, can't imagine a mess we messenger boy makes a lot of money. I mean, literally the order is dripping in gold, so I don't think them paying a messenger is going to be that big a deal. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, they got all that money by not paying their stuff. <laughs> not paying their taxes, technically, they're a religion, so they're uh, exempt. No! Just so you know. Uh, <laughs> not to get too political on you guys here, right? but... <laughs> It's actually why the Wizard King really hates uh, the Great Gold Worm <laughs> tax yeah, exemptions. They probably write off tax uh, anyway because they've put it all into gold. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> no choice. <laughs> yeah, they are the gold standard, quite frankly. Uh, is that can we? It's like so. So you're, it looks like you've made zero profits. It's, you know, <laughs> yeah, we've we've not made any. Where's all this gold came from? Isn't that value? But no, no, that's just... Also, it'd be a bit um, insipid if uh, they made their own profits. Surely profits would happen, and then they would consult the Golden Order regarding I mean, if, the portents I, I of mean, said if, profit. If, if, if the Golden Order is like <laughs> the religion, surely they would have profit. Thank you, Stu. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was a I profit know. joke. It's fine. Yeah, um, I got it. Good, I'm glad. Should have seen it coming. Uh, it made me laugh. Anyway, besides this wonderful conversation about the politics of the world, I love it. But um, mm. yeah, so is everybody done their maths and their money? Yep. Cheers, Rich. <laughs> nah, he's yep. Good, good. 
Uh, yeah, so yeah, Arnold acquires a bunch of camels for you guys. Uh, cool. And yeah, you all mount up and head off into the desert. Yeah, sound good? Plan? Right, wow, so it is, it is quite a wee bit away there. The golden order. Uh, let me just nice. switch us back. World map. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And let me switch myself there. Right, okay, so if I zoom in, you've got. Let me see. Draw. Yeah, so the Demon Coast is where you guys landed, which is like this part here. And then you're going to have to go. Bip, 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 bip. Yeah, so we're kind of just following that ravine. Yeah, it's um, it's too dangerous to go by boat down that. Um, it's essentially like rapids, as it were. Okay. It's canoe down it. It's fine. <laughs> I was worried I was actually putting the ship through there at one point. Okay. No, you weren't. You're were fine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that is like a good. What I don't even know how many miles that is. What was the. Uh, down the Do bottom. It's probably about no 50, 50 miles, maybe. Alright, yeah. So it's like a day or two, right? It's not the worst. Uh, obviously, the way the terrain goes, it just takes that wee bit longer, but yeah. It's essentially about two days worth of travel. Uh, so, yeah, we will uh, montage that uh, for those at home. Uh, Pip was where I was doing that. Uh, let me just zoom in the other map for those of you who might care. There, bip, 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 bip. off to the Golden Citadel. Ooh. Yeah, let me switch this back. Good, good, good. All switched back. So yeah, um, can you guys let me know what happens on day one of traveling? You talk to each other. Obviously, you will travel. Stop and make camp, rest, and then ideally not be mugged in the night, and then <laughs> the save again the next day. All going well. Um, <laughs> keep in mind that people with Outlander can use their wonderful Outlander powers um, as well. I will, um, on the first day of travel, I'll uh, speak to Eremos and I've asked them. Um, yeah, so like you pull up next to Reach because I think Eremos probably asked to ride with Reach. Yeah. Yeah. See who has favorite as the prick. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll ask him how he feels about visiting the uh, Golden Citadel. And then, uh, in fact, here's another question. Reach, you wouldn't have had time to draw in that book yet. Just no, so you know, right? Remember. Just that's another thing, and this is probably another reason why Armas has clung to you, because <laughs> mm. you were my drawing according to him. Yeah. But yeah, so he's like there, and then he's like, so you ask him that. So you pull up your camel next to reaches as you're traveling, and uh, Armas kind of like scrunches up his face as he's thinking about the question, and he's like, you ask a lot of questions for an orc. He kind of just nods at you. Have you met many orcs before? You are my first. Then how do you know how many questions we would ask? No other orcs have asked me any questions. Well, um, it's my job to ask questions, so it's second nature. What's your first nature? <laughs> I just loud noises. Combar, <laughs> Combar just just gives a big grin. And holds up his hammer and says this. Holding things. Okay. <laughs> Crumbar gives again that sigh of, I forgot who I was talking to. And he goes, no, smashing things. And then he, he kind of like, just kind of looks almost fed up as if it's, I've been riding, there's nothing to do. I can't really read or write while traveling on camel. Like, and now I have to listen to this. That's the kind of face that he's got right now. Um, and then, like, maybe there's a bit of silence unless you ask him anything else. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I was going to. 
I can't uh, ask him something else because yeah, if there was a bit of silence, he'd just have threw up a question. But yeah, go for it. What'd you ask him? All right, all right. Um, so I've just asked him, uh, or or it's more so I'm, I'm kind of telling him. It's like, well, uh, when we get here, there's many, many great weapons and some very, uh, uh, or and even better warriors. Uh, so that'll be something you'll be you to look forward to for you. Are any of the great weapons books? We have we have entire libraries of books, and yes, some of them could be used as weapons. If he was interested in buying the item, he would get those dollar signs appearing in his eyes, like all good <laughs> cartoons. Yeah, he's just. I think now he starts doing that ramble thing that he does, where he's like, "What are the books about? Who wrote the books? How many books are there? Where do you keep the books? What color are the pages? Are the pages made of uh, parchment?" Do you use quills on them? What colour is the ink? And it's just uh, again like you don't even yeah, get a chance to answer any specific one question because <laughs> it's just rambling. Uh, Re reach, you may roll your eyes appropriately. Crumbar <laughs> yeah, looking, Crumbar <laughs> looking a wee bit flustered. Just goes. I, well, I mean, the books were really more Reach's kind of territory. Like you hear yes, Arnold, like Arnold. Kinda, yeah, like Arnold's chuckling a big kind of deep chuckle up at the front of the the caravan, as it were, because um, he knows that any time you're asked a lot of questions, maybe it's not a, it's not great. <laughs> no, I'm not used to getting asked questions. I'm used to you're used to hitting asking, things, yeah. Yeah, I'm used to asking them and hitting things when <laughs> they don't give me the answer. I like. <laughs> so yeah, I think Arnold's worked out enough about you. He's probably known you from before times. Uh, before he got positioned in uh, Glitterhagen. Uh, but yeah, he's chuckling away up front of the caravan. What's everybody else doing on the travel? Like, what about Kitty and Arya? Obviously, uh, Ruya oh, is it's with a you. It's slow, slow lumber, so I'm just, like, snoozing on one of the humps, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? This will be so different from, like, anywhere I've been to. Uh, so I'm just going to be, like, keeping my eyes you know, open and looking around and seeing what little, like, animals I see mm. and, like... Yeah, there's very... Yeah, so mentally taking everything in. Well, like, there's not much in the way of wildlife here, but there is definitely, like, desert life. Like, there, the, creatures do exist here, um, in their kind of pseudo-natural habitat. Um, you're not too dissimilar, though, because keep in mind the wildwood where you're from is off to the east. So, the wildwood borders on desert. Oh, okay, so I will have known of some of them at least in that sort of So, like, yous are here, and the wild wood is this massive area over here. Um, so it's just like lots of kind of, well, dead land here, and desert, all the way over here. And it gets a bit green over this way again, and it's green this way, and it gets kind of more tropical at the far side of the wildwood, towards the coast. Okay. So, yeah. So, you're not totally out of your depth that way um, but it can be unfamiliar to you if you're more used to the kind of the foliage of the forest as it were more so than the, the harshness of the desert what about um, um, I'll be in that case I'll be like letting um, letting Roy explore mm -hmm. uh, a bit and like asking it if it sees anything like, yeah it's, it's probably a great air, time to do that out yeah. of out of the ordinary, you know, like if it sees anything weird or any like, like kind of testing it as a scout almost. Uh huh. Uh huh. Basically. Yeah. Give me a animal handling. Animal handling. Give me a Pokemon check. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have the right badges? Yep. Badges for the honestly every check with this hawk is going to be great. Like hawk defeat end boss. <laughs> cool. Done. Crit. <laughs> 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 Twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah. 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 Y
it will respond instinctively with like threat etc so you can send it out in a direction and it comes back it can say there's a threat or not you know like or it saw nothing you know there's very simplistic responses it will give you but you're starting to pick up an idea of what it means um because i'll give you the gist of what it means um and like what you've learned to understand from that based on mm-hmm. your your day of having training i guess with it so this is obviously the the pokemon montage where you and pidgey you know go through the whole gym sequence nice uh what about eric what's he doing In his quest to uh, understand the group a bit more, he goes over to Crumbar to um, engage in conversation. Yeah, so maybe as Crumbar leaves uh, to reach to uh, the fate of Eremos, then <laughs> the fate of Eremos. Like you pull up in front of them, so you've got uh, what's his face, Arnold in front. Then you've got Eric and Crumbar. Now we've got Reach and Kitty, and then we've got mm. Arya at the back. Let's see. Well, she kind of hangs around for her hawk every now and then. So uh, that would be our caravan, as it were. So, mm. so yeah. What do you, what do you say when Crumbar kind of saddles up next to you? I turn to her. Go. Do you not think it's really hot around here? Like unbearably so. Sorry, I didn't. I I didn't hear that. It cut out. <laughs> I say, um, do you not think it's really hot around here, like unbearably? I I just start giggling and laughing, and just go, if you want to know what hot's like, you should come to where I I'm from. You're from a hot place. Oh, crap, Brian. What are those islands called? Uh, that we... The Fire Islands. Yeah. Yes. The islands yeah. of fire. Was, was that? I, I was thinking that. I was like, uh, you know. Yeah, so, so Crombar is laughing and goes, I'm from the fire islands. It's basically the Isle of Fire is technically is what yeah. it's known as. The Isle of Fire. Is it one of these like Iceland, uh, no, like Greenland, and it actually snows there all year If you look at, see the very top of the map? The very yeah. top right. Oh, he's from there. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Volcanoes, can it? But looks yeah. <laughs> it's the Isle of Fire, and it is very volcanic. That'd be where Crumbar from. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm just kind of laughing it off. I'm like, this is like, you know, this is like winter to me. Eric, do you want to roll history for me? Yeah. Yeah, you've you've not heard of that place. Like, if you have, it's been in a kind of you know, like the way people talk about the Bermuda Triangle. Loosely, <laughs> you know, yeah. like who would I let turn to go. I tend to uh, turn to Crumbar and say, um, "No, I don't really know that place. I've heard of it. It's a bit. It sounds extremely hot. But uh, tell me more about yourself. Like how you was uh, like part, uh, became part of the uh, order." So also, if I just step in here as well, this could be Eric's opportunity to talk about the fact that the fire speech was understood and he's from the Isle of Fire. <laughs> uh, maybe. Just if you wanted an in for why he can speak Infernal. Uh, uh, we'll be asking. <laughs> but not yet. Okay, turn. In. Sorry, so what was that question? Um... Tell me more about yourself and how you like joined the Golden Order. Crumbar just kind of sat, like looks down suddenly. So like, Scott you know, looks down suddenly. I look down in uh, saddened. Uh, in saddened. In saddened. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> to- totally not just loading up this backstory again. Um, it's 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 not something I I talk about, but the visions I had led me there. Ah, enough said. I don't want you to relive unpleasant memories. There was just a lot I had to leave behind. Ah, such is the way of life, I suppose. Mm. Change can be. 
interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely experiencing a lot of change right now. I'm sure there'll be even more to come. I mean, I've got this jug. Apparently, I can make mayonnaise. Ha ha ha! I just, I just sit there with my camel laughing. I. Camel just spits. <laughs> but yeah, tell me, Combar this kind of cuts in my question, but tell me yourself, where did you learn lightning from? I didn't learn it, I just had it, if that makes sense. Yeah, I can, I can relate to that. It just kind of exploded onto me when I was younger. Hmm. I may need to test this later. I've never really fought with lightning. It's uncontrollable at the worst of time. Hmm. Chaos can ca cause many fun things to happen. And, I, and Crumbar is just kind of grinning at this, at the idea of, oh, this could be an interesting fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh, so... What were you speaking to the, uh, the, that pirate about crackling with all your fiery noises? Again, Crombar just kind of, we've gone from a bit of a jokey thing to a bit more serious. Yeah, the music slightly yeah. changed tone slightly yeah. as well. He's like, that was infernal, the language of demons. Demons? You can speak to demons. So, can we pause here for this scene mm. and just like refresh what Eric must have just experienced, which is this half orc paladin, which is a paradox unto itself, told you he's from a mythical island and he can speak demon. <laughs> yeah, like when I say demons, I'm like looking at him like, what? <laughs> How fuck even are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, this is a weird guy. Could just I mean, have been bullshitting you the whole time as well. Hence <laughs> why I have literally worked out a backstory just yep. to keep myself right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, does, does Eric kind of rebuke this? Does he, does he just accept it? I'm just like it? looking at him a bit. He's gone out, I'm like, you're not gonna like turn into some sort of like hellfire demon on us at some point in this abyss. Well, let's ask that question just now about, uh, not that, right, that question, but the question about with Eric fears orcs or not, considering um, orcs are considered bad in the world, they will turn up, if they turn up, you're probably dead. I, like, I, I imagine Eric would um, feel, like, initially I reckon he was scared of Krumba, but seeing how he's reacted to the party he's saved the party he's gone out of his way he sees a more like noble side he's a cat he's a kind of orc than the stories he's mm -hmm. yeah because he's definitely not the the boogeyman stories that you would have heard i am um, yeah. also that you might. probably lost like family trade routes and such to orc attacks and stuff so like it's it is something you've probably you probably lost family to orcs let's be face let's face it I mean, my family generally stayed in the city. Oh, well, you know, family business anyway. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was just as a snapshot, as it were. It's a good to get that kind of perspective on the world versus the, the, the party. Um, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> Carry on. Unless that's who's wrapped up your chatting. Uh -huh. Oh, what, what was it you asked me? I can't remember. What did I say? I don't know, make a new one. <laughs> uh, now the gears are grinding. Uh, um, so you asked me what the language was, I told you. Oh yeah, no, um, it was... You're not going to turn into some demon on us, are you? In the I, I... I... give that kind of sarcastic laugh and just say, we all have our demons. It pats the jug on the side of the camel. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there's uh, nothing to worry about. I'm here to stop them. 
Oh, I feel safer with you in the party. Just yeah, yeah, I feel. Yeah. Everyone feels safer with an orc around that swings a hammer, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I've heard stories of orcs that are as nice as you. Not saying you're soft. Oh, trust me. I was one of those orcs before. You didn't plunder any caravans, did you? Several. <laughs> what do you think you're doing on Orcish Warband? He looks down, puts his hand over his face. I hope it wasn't any of my family. <laughs> well, that was a. Uh... It's been a long time since my exile. Musical note changes and, again. And, do, 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 do. and you know that way, it's that <laughs> kind of. Um, yeah, you're not that far away. You could be listening to them yeah. banter on. If you can hear it over Aramos' rambling. <laughs> rambling, great. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, uh, Crumbar also has that kind of shit I've said too much kind of look. But yeah, Rich, you could have heard all that. Like, Kitty's near enough as well. I'd say that Arya's maybe too far back. Um, she'd have to make a check if she wanted to hear it. Um, but she could make a check, and Arnold's, you know, trying to ignore Crumbar at the best of times. How'd you end up joining the Order after that? How'd you end I, up in the Order? What check would I have Crumbar? to do? Because I would be curious. Perception, to just to hear. To what's going on. Say a 12. 12 in perception, you can get it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Arya, you're just doing all the good rolls no, tonight. No Not when she wants what? to attack, though. Because, yeah. Attacking, no, but anything else, literally anything else, yep. I'm totally uh, a support you're, character. I was yep. going to say, you're the definition of a support. I still anything except attack. Uh, I'll fire this cannon. A one. No! <laughs> Amazing. But, but yeah, so yeah. Of this cannon. Oh, yeah, yeah. No <laughs> instantly, like, I actually built it two seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so you hear you hear all of this. Actually, I do weirdly. You should have picked an owl because I've just found a picture that I'll put um, into the chat. Carry on, no. <laughs> okay. Is that I want to see the owl picture first? No, oh, there's no owl. Oh right, yeah, it will take a moment. Um. So how did you join the order? Yeah, how did the order end up picking you up? I, uh, well, at first they arrested me. Ha ha ha! Yes, that's a slightly different way of joining the order from usual. <laughs> I, uh. Says you? <laughs> I wasn't arrested, I was kind of brought with him. Yeah, so. uh, you were left on their doorstep, but it's just a totally different yeah, way. It's yeah. like, is that the usual? Yeah, Orphaned? Like, <laughs> yeah, might, might be. Yeah. 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 Uh, just saying, that looks very much like uh, Arya to me. Oh, but like, a like, uh, very arcane, are you? Giving up our life of nature for a life of the arcane. <laughs> Ma, uh, oh, I... Underneath the aisles She's gone old. now, <laughs> I'm sold. <laughs> 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 but yeah, sorry, carry on. Twinsies. <laughs> Twinsies. <laughs> that would be awesome if you had a sister that went down the arcane route and you went down the nature route. Just saying, backstory pet out. <laughs> Why not? Yep. Everyone needs to have a back. Her name can be Sansa. Um, <laughs> that was terrible, right? It wasn't at all. Sansa Bluebird. I'm just going to make yeah, myself a note. Don't. You Sansa. can't see me face palming right now, but I'm telling you it's happening. It's okay, I'm allowed to make bad jokes too. It's not just crumber. Um, Yay! Right, so... Um, Arya, you overhear him say all that as well, so pretty much everybody hears all of it. Except uh, if um, Kitty's actually asleep, actually asleep, you don't, obviously. Oh, I'm I, asleep. You're asleep, yes? You're yeah, asleep. I'm asleep. Yep. I'm asleep. Yep. <laughs> Makes sense. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, Exile, um, you say that, but Reach, you'd said that you wanted to know if you'd heard it for any specific reason, and then you said that you joined the Order, blah blah blah, I'm just catching myself back up on where we are. Uh, uh, that's not the usual way. Yeah, that's not the usual way, and I was like, well, um, it's it's not very usual for an orc to travel this far south either, but here I am. 
or join the or or join the golden order for that matter. Life has many paths, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, what I've <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. And now we're all together. Um, and Reach, can you make a perception check for me? Perception. Yes, please. Um. Skill. Yeah, that's. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. A skill check. That's, you gave me two. One for each eye. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, oh, that's fine. So as you carry on. Uh, MD else wanting to bring up any conversations, or are we going to stop for the night? We'll stop for the night. Yeah. Like the idea that you wake up as the camels are stopping. That, that, that makes sense. Like you wake up as everybody's stopping to sleep. <laughs> Guess who's on first one? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, the combat heavy character. Yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I want, I'd want her watch my Yeah, back. Kitty, let instant kill. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, reach. As you're, like, riding throughout the day, like you've got, uh, what's his face? Aramos is kind of like sat in front of you, like holding onto the camel, um, and obviously you, you're kind of behind him, holding onto him and the camel. Uh, it's safer that way than letting him kind of ride behind you. And, uh, like maybe late. Later on, like in, in the kind of sl when it starts to get darker, um, in the south, it's obviously longer nights in the south. You uh, you see him playing with something, like in his hands. You're not really quite sure, really what it is, because you're kind of you're conversating with people. You're keeping an eye on obviously your surroundings, as everybody's keeping edgy, as it were. Um, but you definitely see him playing with something, um, like in his hands, between his hands up his sleeve um, yeah just like as if he's like a kid playing right so yeah. uh, he's messing with something but you're not quite sure what but you notice that on the journey but obviously I was assuming your curiosity gets the better of you and you kind of leave him to it, it does. I would, uh, yeah I was I would like to ask him about it but oh, yeah well I mean yeah. like he's pulled up now um, to obviously start making camp so yeah, I think obviously whoever wants to help make camp, feel free to help make camp. Obviously, you'll need to eat and such as well, so you just can do what you just do. But yeah, what do you say to him? What's is that a new toy you have, Fermus? And he kind of he's like, what? And he kind of clasps his hands behind his back and looks like an every single innocent child ever. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's a safety there, probably is. You haven't got a uh, crumb bars flutes there, have you? Let's see. Uh. He's like, no. I think the cat lady took that, but mm -hmm. I think she gave it back because crumb bar got very mad, very close. <laughs> so what have you got there then? It's mine. He says oh, very like can... coyly. Yeah, you can keep it. It's no problem. Tell you what, I owe you a picture. I'll draw that picture for you tonight. Uh, if you show me what that is there. Yeah. And he kind of gets excited for a second, and I'm gonna make a roll. Uh, I just roll a d20. Cool. So mm. he is. <laughs> I'm not obviously necessarily showing you what modifiers he has. He um, <laughs> he's like, you already said you would make me a picture. Why do I have to give you this extra thing? I hate clever kids. That's exactly. Well, I, I mean, I, he rolled well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to punch. I put it to the dice because he might he might not have been smart enough to work that out. <laughs> I'll put extra effort into the picture. Make it as accurate as I can. You promise? I promise, yes. Will you write down your promise? <laughs> yes. And he goes and like quickly gets into like his backpack on the camel, pulls it off, pulls out the book. Like the backpack just gets dumped. <laughs> he pulls the book out and then like runs over to you and shows like holds out his quill and he's like, Can you write it? And he like just That's scrolls to like an, an open page. 
Yes, to do that later. I promised to make extra effort and draw in the celestial nexus. nexus. Yep. And he's like, you need to sign it, and he's tapping the bottom of like where you've wrote it. Oh, dear Lord. Dear Lord. Sign it. Yeah. Full name. Yeah. Cool. So you're right, like Don's Golden Reach. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and then he's like, you, and he looks at it, and he's like, oh. And he kind of like just like sits in the sand with the book in his lap. He's like, you have a nice name. Thank you. By the way, can I see what I've wrote there, by the way? Yeah, the oh, guys. That's cool. Yeah. Right, yeah. Just like, cool. He's like, huh. And he like closes his book over and he's like, he, like does that thing a kid does where like they do move their hand towards them really like come here quickly. And he's just looking around at everybody else setting up a campfire and stuff. All around them. So, yeah. yeah, and he's like, it's this. And he holds out his palm and on his palm, like ink runs up his wrist. And then like spirals round and it says I have gone that forms out of the ink on his palm. It came back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know we do know, but is that something you've written before or, or have you seen it before? Or? Uh, it was a message I left. Right. Does that usually happen when you write things down that they appear on your this hand. And then like you can see he turns like his hand over and the ink just kinda like runs around like kind of absent mindedly. As if it moves, so it's no longer the words anymore. And he's like um and you just like you can see him kind of absent mindedly playing like with the ink between his hands. And they're like a kid would play with string. Yeah. And he's like, um sometimes. But usually you don't fuck up. He's like <laughs> usually the words stay in the books though. Strange that words don't usually jump out of books from my knowledge. That's, well, I guess might light up ideas in heads, but they don't tend to wander around people's hands. People's heads light up? Well, it's with thoughts from words they've read in books. Like <laughs> Crumbar's eyes? <laughs> when he's angry? <laughs> yes, actually, yes. <laughs> but sometimes, yeah. Uh, Yeah, I'm trying to think of examples. Yeah. None of us have many examples from books. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Um, right, while well, you're thinking that, we'll pause you just now. We'll come back to you if need be, um, in case you want to keep that scene going. What's everybody else doing for the camp? Is anybody actually helping Arnold attempt to set this place up to make it somewhat homely? <laughs> I'm setting up. I'm, I'll be interacting with the camels. Yeah. Yep. You can definitely. Can I like see if I can like I don't know get them to do tricks or something? <laughs> uh, I mean, you can ask them. You can just speak to them, right? That's something you can just do now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah they tell you where to go in the politest way possible. <laughs> <laughs> and well, then, like, I tried. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, they're tired. They have just marched through the desert, and their life is to march back and forth. They are not there to do tricks. <laughs> Damn it. I thought I'd made them friends. Well, I thought they didn't like me, but it's fine. Well, I mean, you can speak camel, so that's impressive for them. But mm. now they've got somebody to complain to. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> one of the yeah, camels. I'm gonna walk to the other. <laughs> I'm gonna walk to the furthest away side from where they are. Yeah, one of the camels yeah. is called Karen for some reason. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the British. Tell <laughs> <laughs> um, the cat to use less claws, please. <laughs> <laughs> Like, does it also have that stupid haircut? Like, yeah, you know, yeah, you know it does. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to speak to the manager. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'm gonna go the furthest away from where they're tied and like do something different. Yeah. And what about Kay? What's Kay doing? Just looking around, making sure we're safe since you know I'm gonna be on first watch. Mm -hmm. Is MD gonna go get food or are you gonna just eat rations? I'm going to help Arnold set up a camp. Cool, yep. Uh, do you want to make a survival I check with advantage? That's you, Eric. Yeah, just applying advantage. Yep, that's fine. Cool, cool. And Arya and Crumbar, you both have Outlander, right? Yeah. Which one of you are going to get food? 
I was gonna go get Fidson's areas. Avoiding yeah. camels, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, is she avoiding them now? Initially, was speaking to them. Yeah. Um, so I was just, uh, oh, I mean, like, so when she, when she while she was speaking to them, I would have went off. Yep. Cool. Got. Uh, yeah. Roll survival then. I mean, you can both yeah. really do it together if you just want to take the time to go and do it. it just yeah, takes longer. It's up well. to Arya. Never mind. It's happened. Nope. You come back with nothing. That is because we are in a desert and all there is is dirt. Um. So I grumpily sat down and. What did we say it was? Charisma? Uh, For the pamphlet? Yeah. And. Play a wee tune. Hey. It's a damn good tune. Yep. I'm happy that I'm I was going to say it's probably a very very sad tune though. It's probably the you know the, oh, yeah. the oh, unvictory oh, oh. tune. It is it, it is the reminiscing of of things that are I I, I am missing tune. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, right. So are you are you going to go looking for food when the crumbars come back and just play a plan for it and there's no food? Yeah, I'm going to look for food as well. Cool. Go I do don't go ask my hawk to help me. Essentially, yeah, have advantage on this then. Not something, then. Cool. yeah. Roll again because you never toggle the advantage, it's fine. I realize this is just it's okay. Uh, we'll just take the 11 and the 22. So, the 22 is obviously the barrel. Um, so it's your hawk that helps you spot this. So uh, Ruya is the one that like calls at the right time to like you spotting some game out there. It's probably random things like desert scorpions and various other shit. Um, but yeah, you get enough food. You bring it back. You can you you know you get enough for the camels and the people. Sorry, bring back. Um, oh, the camels should be so thankful. <laughs> Crumbar. Uh, when Crumbar's seen that, I'll Arya's give Karen the back. smallest portion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because then she'll complain to the manager. She's already was... complaining. <laughs> see when uh, see when Crumbar sees Ar- uh, Arya coming back while this food, he like suddenly like stops playing the pan flute and just like gives her a kind of mean look and is just like, "You cheated. You had help." Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's really going, just he's cause. Going, yeah, he's feeling a wee bit. Um, and I'll just put my arm in the air for uh, for Rue to land on it. And when she does, I'm just gonna use my other hand to stroke her just underneath the chin, mm-hmm. the beak sort of thing, you know. Yeah, give her a bit of scorpion or something, you know. <laughs> yep. Yeah, well done. Well, these are all fed and whatnot. Emily uh, wanting to do anything at the campsite at all, or are we skipping? I want to spar with Eric. Going to spa. Mm-hmm. Is this allowed? Does don't worry. Just go along with it. Please, don't <laughs> guys. If you on. were <laughs> like absolutely dead tired after an entire day on not even horseback but camelback, which is much worse. You really yeah, don't that's true. For spa. I've done enough narrating the day actually. Yeah, we'll save that for another time. I mean, it's up to you. Like, if you feel like that would be something Crumbar wanted to pick his spirits up with, um, or would you be oh, too yeah. down down to the dumps for it? Make your judgment call now. My 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 judgment is. I mean, magic wouldn't really be a lot something that Crumbar's came across a lot. Like, well, his type of magic. So he's wanting to see how he get how he get on against it. Cool. Roll a wisdom save for me. Wisdom. Whoop up. God. That's good. Um, you realise that if there is an attack, it's likely to be attracted by his style of fighting. Because he's very loud, very booming. And, and beyond that, they're like, yeah, so lightning and thunder. And you saw how quickly he burnt out. Thus. Do you want to have somebody who can throw lightning at people, which is impressive, 
not be able to do that when you need it. This is what runs through Crumbar's head, maybe as he's thinking about, will I go ask him to spa? I think I'll leave, leave it till we're in a safer place. It's not the worst idea, hence the wisdom mm. save. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just something that goes, have... it's going to be loud, it's going to be flashy, and then we'll get jumped, and then he won't be loud and flashy, and then he'll be dead. And Crumbar will be alone again. Yeah. It's not good. I mean, the only one I want to die is Kitty. Wow, harsh. Well, I mean, Eric's in that boat as well. <laughs> wow, harsh. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm you know... I'm Even Eremos doesn't like Kitty, so it's pretty bad, like, all around. I'm, I'm, I just still view Kitty as some food for me. So. Yeah, but that's weird for you, given that you're a in good lo- character. In light of what I just said, I want to go over to Kitty and figure out what the hell she is, because I ain't got a clue. This is a walking, talking cat. It's a five foot cat. Oh, have yeah. you never seen a cat? Wait, so our tabaxi's not common then? No. no. no it's I said this in like session one. None of you, like, this is not common. You imply <laughs> you I guys remember did not yesterday. That's all. <laughs> it was highlighted to everyone, by the way, just to hear. Yeah. <laughs> it probably was, I've just forgotten. It's, a wee bit it's okay, that's why we remember this. that star realm, just wandering mm-hmm. through the stars. <laughs> so, so, it's, so it's Kitty from like. Doesn't matter, you don't know. Yeah. She's a walking, talking cat. It's not the weirdest thing yeah. you've seen in your life. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, you speak demon. That's pretty weird. <laughs> so, so where, where is Kitty? I'm just one, right like, doing a patrol, like just walking around, making sure yeah, Kit, anyone... Kit, Kitty's in our prime right now. She had a good sleep on the way here, so... Stepping a bit on Jolly. Right, I, I stroll over to where she's patrolling, and... Uh, Say to her, what are you? I think that's what are Water? you. <laughs> what are you? That's <laughs> That literally, my words to me like, uh, excuse me. Nick, you're not normal. <laughs> I have not seen a walking, talking cat that is a decent height that isn't cats. <laughs> it was distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, clearly you've not been to uh, where the heck am I? From? <laughs> <laughs> I Aren't you from Horizon? Um, oh crap! What is that place where Princess Distoria? Is- oh. Horizon. Oh, it's Horizon. Yeah. Whereabouts is that? So let me move it to the world map again. I like the southwest, I believe. It's not that far, it's here. Oh, did I just move myself? I did. Yeah, you've just moved yourself. Yeah, right, okay. There we go. Where about sorry? To the west. Yep. Oh. Horizon's right there. Okay, hey, we're practically neighbours. Yep. I mean, I several hundred miles, yeah. I think I, <laughs> I, I live closer I, I, to where I she lives. practically. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'm from there. If you've been there, then you would have seen them being very shifty about it because it's probably just me <laughs> <laughs> i am the only one in this instance uh, has anybody else in the party visited horizon before it's um big city um like it's hard to really gauge the size of the place in terms of like glitterhagen is a fully realized physical city and horizon's magic bullshit so it yeah it's i would say i have yeah. Due to the fact I have magic and we know Princess Distori is over there and it is known for magic, so I probably would have gone there at some point to try to find out what was wrong with me. But I- yeah, and like wizards would train there and shit like that for like that's where all the good wizard colleges and stuff are. Not the only ones, but the good ones. Yeah. Can I can I roll something to decide if I've been there? Uh sure. Why don't you roll Mm. What are we thinking? Investigation? Mm. Let's roll survival instead. Survival? Yeah. Nope, nope. I have not been there. Nope. <laughs> Never had a reason to go there. Purely the survival is like a navigation type thing, and I was like, no. if there was a reason for you to have maneuvered yourself that way, sure. But uh, See, I was thinking. 
I was thinking history because it would have been something I have done, you know. Yeah, I thought about that, but that's a, that's about kind of known stuff. It's not really about going. Yeah. Um. Very unlikely I've done it, so no. Yeah, like I think as well, <laughs> like people don't just generally wander around the land on foot. Generally, um, are you maybe more than most people? Um, but yeah, generally people will get boats places as well. Uh, so you skip a lot of places you wouldn't like travel from the Golden Citadel over to Horizon and then up to Glitterhagen. You'd skip that. Um, I, I, I'm I'm going to go off of the. Uh, the Golden Order kind of kept me in the dungeons for intimate and only pulled me out when that hit the sham. No, they wouldn't do stuff like that. That's not a thing they would do. They wouldn't keep you prisoner that way. No, I mean like, like they kept me just working down there. Ah, right. Okay, cool. So like, a, like you were kind of on intimidation guard duty. Yeah. I thought you meant you were just chained up until they needed you. I was like, that's oh, not right, their no, style. No. <laughs> Release the crumbar. Release. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am the Kraken. So, like, after Kitty said this to me, I uh, fold my arms and go, I've been to Horizon. I have not seen walking, talking cats. So I ask again, what are What I am is none of your business. If we're, if we're parting together into this uh, abyss, it is kind of my... my. I think as you say the word abyss, you get like, a cold wind blow. <laughs> Yeah, it's like every time, it's like every time I mention a, a bad sort of word, it's like <laughs> ominous. <laughs> um, I just like the idea that your kitty's just like, yeah, sticking her tongue out and doing like lol faces at Yeah, like literally, my arms are crossed, I'm in a very defensive thing, my tail's twitching, like no tomorrow. Um, it's just like, are, just, like so you have no right to ask me these questions. No, here's the I've question, saved your right? ass multiple times. Here's the question. <laughs> Are, does his question make you uncomfortable or are you just annoyed at it? Like, what's the, what is his questions making you and we'll see if you can work that out. More annoyed than anything. Okay, general insight <laughs> and we'll see if yeah, you can work that out, Eric. Cool. Are you trying to hide how you feel in any way? Probably not. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's pretty obvious. I like, I don't, I'm not too full she's annoyed. She's uh, she annoyed me during a uh, during a fight. So I go, act all angry and annoyed as you like. You're, you're part of a party. You need to. We need to trust each other. And you not telling us who you are or what you are, that doesn't help with trust at all. You can trust that I've got your back in a fight. That's all you need to care about. Yeah, so no one asked for it. I was That's fine on the boat. I don't need. I don't need someone coming along and stealing my glory. Well, that seems very much like a you problem. I saw enemies attacking. I defended. Simples. I don't. I. I don't have massive control over my ability. But if you cut short my my ability to kill people or injure people and put them out of commission during fights, like I, I'm rather really limited in that. You've got a multitude of skills. You could have gone and helped everyone else fight the that sword buckling like madman in the middle of the ship. Well, you, you can pirate Captain few... Bendito. No. <laughs> yeah. I was just picking off the you know the the extras before focusing on the main guy. So, are you going to tell me anything about yourself, or are you going to say? To yourself. Ruddy mysterious is the term. Well, I don't think you've earned any kind of response to that. Because, you know, you're still a stranger to us. You might have been travelling with us on the boat, but you've been a pretty hostile piece of shit. So. To you Ooh, only. I, I'm, I'm, go I'm working my way. I'm trying to get, gain your guys' trust, but you really, <laughs> clearly don't want to uh, gain my trust. I was open to it in the beginning. I don't know where this hostility has come. <laughs> you you were like playing outside, so uh, you understand. Uh, my character is independently hates people helping him. Well, I guess I know that now. And uh, I'll, <laughs> uh, I will uh, just look at her and go shake my head say look 
Okay, I'm willing to push this aside. I don't want any sort of bad blood between us going into this whatever, this abyss, this fiery pit, whatever it is. Like, we, like, I need to... I, I thank you for possibly saving my life on a boat, but can you please tell me more about yourself? Like, I need... I don't know anything about you. It's It's hard to make a bond with someone I don't know. I just kind of look down. Arms are still crossed, but it's more in a self conf not self confident, like a self comforting kind of way. Mm -hmm. It's just like when I figure it out myself, I'll tell you. I nod my head and go, Okay, I'll leave you to and t uh, turn and walk back. Yeah, and there's suddenly a 10,000 orc ambush because of, you know, the person on watch being distracted <laughs> and being in a bad mood and shouting at you. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Can I ask a kitty history question? Uh, no, because you're not anywhere near kitty. kitty no, 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 I just, I just mean no person. No, definitely Ooh. not. No, definitely not. Um, because we're in game currently and we're running out of time vastly. Oh, crap, mate. Okay. Yeah. So... Anybody get anything crucial they want to do in character at this campfire before what? we skip ahead? Uh, one last thing, I'm still tongue to Eremos and I wouldn't mind when we follow yeah, up. Yeah, that's uh, fine, yeah, carry on. Uh, you said uh, sometimes this ink uh, messages appear in your hand. When was the last time it happened? Um, before. Yeah, bloody hell, yeah, typical. Okay, mm. oh well, that's... Presume it's not sore or anything, no. It doesn't hurt or anything. And he kind of looks at you really confused, like he doesn't really get what you mean. Why would it hurt? Uh, it's something I'm not aware of, so I just want to make sure you're okay. That's all. That's, uh, like, I don't have ink flowing through my hands. If it did, I don't know if it would hurt, so I'm just checking with you. Uh, and he kind of looks at his hand again. And then like you can kind of like see the ink just kind of swirl, kind of, again very passively and he turns his hand over and it obviously just like writhes over his hand a bit like you know like a snake or something would uh, and then he he kind of just like plays with it a bit and he looks up at you and goes well it doesn't hurt not like crumb bars music <laughs> <laughs> and then, like he's, he's like yeah but like this is this guy's a shit right so <laughs> He's doing it to like wind up Crumbar. Yeah. Um, because he's smirking, he's got like a big shitting grin on his face uh, when he says that. I am gonna smash this. You can hear him. He said it loud enough for you to hear that part. <laughs> Crumbar just kind of gives him the evils and like just kind of goes back to what he was doing. And I think he's got that smirk until you look at him like seriously, right. and he like does that thing with oh crap, you know, shoulders go up, and then uh, he kind of goes. Uh, Rich, can you make? Can you draw that drawing for me now, please? <laughs> I was actually wondering, can I just effectively have a short rest and do it? Uh, Does that work mechanically? I mean, they're all probably going to take a long rest, really. Yeah. Um, so yeah. you can just delay your long rest. Like you can do stuff on your like your long rest. You just need at least eight uh, hours of sleep. Okay. The long rest can be twelve hours, for example. As long as it doesn't get in the way of anyone else, yes, I would like to do that. Yeah, you can sit and draw. Yeah. You can take as long as you want for that, yeah. Um, right, cool. Yep. At least a at least two, three hours at least for it. I mm -hmm. wanted to yeah, do it good. That's fine. And like, I don't even think you need to roll for that. I think it's just like you can, if you're going to take as long as that, yeah, you can spend as much time on it as you want. Um, okay. If indeed you happen to make any mistakes, would you ask Eremos about it, since he has strange ink-related problems? Yeah, I'd be curious. Yeah. So yes. Because I do, I just want to do it as good as I can. So if I did a mistake, I would I'd probably originally say, look, that line's a mistake, it's not meant to be there, so ignore that. I'll and like, because it. he's given you his book to do this in as well, so he's actually given you like his book, um, right. and you open it up to grab a, a random page, like a two-page like two spread, and he's like, can you draw it over both? So it's big. Um, yep. And then as you're like, he's like constantly leaning over your shoulder, and then like, Every now and then going, sorry, and he kind of like moves back and sits in like the log next to you, and then eventually like he's like back over your shoulder again until he realizes he's getting in your way. Um, and then when you're like that line shouldn't be there, he like he just puts like his finger on the book and just moves it away, and like flicks the ink off to the side of the page. 
but then it doesn't like fly off like water. It would, it goes away around the page, away. Got you. Right. So he's helping you fix the drawing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you just can do that. Uh, yeah. So I think we can just fast forward through the rest of the desert unless anyone's got anything they desperately want to do because I don't have anything you desperately need to do on this journey. Except, oh, do you? No. no. Um, I just need somebody to do a survival check to see if he's got food next year or if he's eat rations. Will the Outlanders uh, do that? Yeah. I think Ari has. Oh. One for that at the moment. Crumbar might want to feel better about it. Ba, 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 ba. I'll do that. Oh, well. After a feast last night, we have a decent meal the next day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's good enough to cover what you need to do for now. Um, obviously, yeah. you just get on. So, as we approach the end of the session, Probably. use a see the golden sigil. That's probably right as well. Arya at the back, not with the attached one, so she can drift off and talk to a bird now. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that is just a random piece of art that I found? Uh, credit to the artist where credit's due. I don't know who the artist is. I just found it randomly on Pinterest. Uh, but is that Ar Arya's bird? I take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, that's just all those bats you are about to fight, right? <laughs> Is that Arya's bird? The cafe Edamos. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you start to head towards uh, the gates of the Golden Citadel. Uh, and obviously, Arnold sighs a very heavy sigh of relief. Uh, Eremos is asking about 400 questions about the design of the place. Uh, and he's asking you to pay particular attention to it, Reach. Because he wants you to obviously draw it at some point, probably. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, I think with that we can close this session on a more positive note of you guys just getting into the Golden Citadel. Oh, and that actually means something. Right? It does indeed mean something. It's probably, this is probably the least cliffhangery ending I have ever done. Uh, it really <laughs> is. Let's move us back to the title Whoa. screen. It's actually but we get of... we get experience. So Yay. let's uh, yeah let's talk about goals, shall we? Yes. <laughs> Let's talk it's about goals. Yeah. So, reach the Golden Citadel. Mm. Reach made it to the Golden Citadel, and you all got to the Golden Citadel. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody gets 200 XP. 200? Yeah. We oh, that's twice your level, so... Yeah. Oh, I thought it was... Um, so your level is 2 times 100. Mm equals yeah. the XP. I thought it was uh, times 50, 50 things. That's, That's for an easy. It's easy and it's not really right, easy. Right. Yeah. That's, none of us could have done that another way. No, this this was quite tough because you had to fight through about what, 14 people or something? Aye. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's be honest, Kitty had to fight through about 14 people. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I killed more. <laughs> I deleted most of well, initially. I think we found our Legolas and Gimli of the party. Yeah, yep, I thought I it was. <laughs> but Eric, yeah, you've not killed more all in. Maybe in the last battle, but not all He's in. He's not yet. been here long enough to, to, yes, to match that. Still. Give him a couple of sessions. The, the count started from that last battle because that's when I joined. That is uh, a Legolas and Gimli. No, no, the <laughs> Lord started. You're not a count, you're a Lord. <laughs> 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 I know, terrible. Um, All right, good. I'm glad. Uh, right, so we've completed that. So you just can update the goal tracker and move that into the completed section. Also, imaginary bats don't count. <laughs> just saying. I think their character um, should say differently. I think yours also says differently since you have that <laughs> XP too. Is uh, somebody is somebody in the thing? Uh, it's been done. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, right. So things we want to do first: name the session. Oh, that's a good point. What, what were we name it? Yeah. As I said, I'm going to try and do this in the same order every time, so if review the goal quickly, then name the session. So what are we calling this beast? So we had wrapping up the boat stuff, lots of conversations on the boat, sailing the boat, sad captain, uh, the port town, canals, survival, desert, angry people, Karen, golden citadel. It was the summary of that. Well, actually, fuck tons happened in this session, to be honest. Yeah, I know. Yeah. A camel called Karen. 
No. <laughs> I'm just going to veto that now. <laughs> uh, Karen's laughter. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, you did a lot of talking to each other as well. Like you, you got to know each other. Um, there was obviously. I feel like if we call it the Kal- uh, the Kalista's sadness, that's probably too many Kalistas. Um, but yeah, so he's made it to the port. He's made it to the Golden Order Citadel. That's that's something. Um, Follow the yellow brick road, lol. <laughs> um, Could even just be something as simple as the journey, or you know, journey's end, or that seems too final. Though doesn't it? Journey's end. Yeah. Um, sad depart. Uh, no sad arrival uh, for the boat. Can I yeah, I mean it could be. Um, just call it the Golden Citadel. You could, but then I feel like that's maybe next week's session. Maybe. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Depends how long you just decide to stay there. Before being like, no, nah, we'll, we'll go to the best next week. Yeah, honest. Yep. Totally. Totally. Um, so yeah. All it's, terrified. Quaking in the boots. Scribbling in the desert. Golden Horizon. <coughs> Eric is cursed by cheese. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put some suggestions in. Um, Golden mm. Horizon's not bad. Yeah, that's what I'm writing. <laughs> uh, Golden Horizon or Horizons. Uh, there's a suggestion. Uh, MDLs. Journeys. Journey. 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 Is another one. Um, kind of the uh, like golden dunes, like we've gone over, we've gone through the desert, and we're arriving at the golden citadel. Yeah, like type it, type in a suggestion if that's what you want to suggest. Like this is a democracy, this part, except the parts where I veto most of Scott's suggestions. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> but what what a face <laughs> um, thanks Kay thanks he tracks that straight away Kay did well this session <laughs> she did Kay to kill I like that I'm not gonna lie that made me happy that is actually mm. could go down in yeah, kit instant kill. I right, mean so she didn't kill anyone this episode. <laughs> yeah, I like daggers in the dunes. See, I like the way that sounds. It's not truly accurate because yeah. dagger in dunes is more accurate, but I think dagger in the dunes sounds way cooler. See, I was thinking about something with daggers, but I couldn't like think of something. Also, Dagger and Dunes is D&D. Be honest, Kitty's oh, walking what, around. What, what about Clink, okay. clink, clink, clink everywhere. <laughs> so, you could say that daggers are making clinking sounds sound in the dunes, so it kind of works, I suppose. Could do nice about... it, could we all nearly died. <laughs> what about that? Mm-hmm. Because uh, Eremos is obviously playing with a yeah. ink in his hands. True, wordplay, yeah. Wordplay. I I've been trying to figure out stuff like that. Uh, mm-hmm. it's it's actually, it could be um, daggers, dunes, and drawing. Triple D. It's not a bad one. I like I like, it. I like that one. Got that. I like that as well. That's... Aye, I'll, 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 I'll Are you? That. <laughs> I'll give that a bit. I like that one the best. Sadly, your hawk in no way has any D related uh, references, so I was going to hopefully have had something like that. That boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that boy. That <laughs> bird. Um, the bird. Okay, well, let's go with that then. So, daggers, daggers, dunes, and drawing. And that boy. <laughs> Nicely done. And XP awarded was 200 because of the goal. Oh, we get to a level up crap. Yep, so everything you... should now be on a 1000 XP. Yeah. Unless you did on your maths wrong. Well, mine's at 850. Did I forget to put some on last time? You did. 
Yeah. No, you that... just you've just been nerfed is all. You missed 150 somewhere. Yeah. That must have been from last time. It has to be. Honestly, see, is it just something you magically time where anytime I give out XP you just zone out? Is that like a, a new thing, Kitty? I <laughs> have no idea. It must be. I, I, I think we should just nerf Kitty. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be the powerhouse. So it's a. Uh, Too late, it's a thousand now. It should be a thousand, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, right, okay, so we've done that, we've named it Staggers, Dunes, and Drawing. And. Uh, and the drawing! Or just. and drawing. And drawing. And drawing. Too many words. Yeah, okay, cool. Daggers, Dunes, and Drawing. Uh, I like that, it's very good. Uh, let's just go for this. You could put the drawings, and daggers, and do take it off to 11. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, right, let's go for it. Eric and Callum. Hello. Hello. Talk to us. This is our, our, our kill down chat. Oh, the recap. Uh, like, uh, like, um, I enjoyed actually firing one bolt and getting one kill, so far I'm on a one-to-one -one ratio. Yes, yep. Uh, I enjoyed the chats I've had with three of the party members. Mm -hmm. I still need to speak to <laughs> Yeah, so here's actually a good point I would like to jump in on, right? See if we do ever decide to move the experience into individual goals. See if Eric's goal in this had been um, like work on getting to know the party. Like, can you see how his independent goals would totally have worked because of the efforts he made towards all that? Um, yeah. mm -hmm. And then obviously, let's say one of like uh, Arya's goal had been um, like train the bird more. Like, th those goals would have been done, right? Because yeah. that's, but those might have been either medium or easy goals, but they've been achieved and there were skill checks involved. Maybe not necessarily Eric's part, but that involves having to negotiate other people. Do you know what I mean? So challenge thus ensued. Um, but that's what I mean by if we do decide to move to personal goals, it'll be stuff like that that you guys will be generating. It's just a lot of work, which is why I want to stick with party goal as a singular for now. Um, but yeah, sorry, carry on, Calm. Yeah, no, like, I, I, I enjoyed the chats, like, I, uh, some of them, or one of them, was a bit more, how to put it? Fortuitous? Yeah. Uh, fiery, the new ones. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, it's still. I wonder still. what one that was, eh, Kitty? I mean, I was also <laughs> challenged with it at Spa, and then he kind of backed out, so it's like, coward. <laughs> oh, no, it'll happen, mate, it'll happen. Careful, you don't want to hit me. If you want to do, if you want to, you want to spam me. You want to spam me before level four. <laughs> ah, it'll be fine. No, it was good. It was good to get um, Eric being like, "I am with these people. Who are they?" Um, yep. It was nice for you to kind of wade into that quite nicely. Um, some people were sharing too much, and some people were like, "Nah, you ain't earned that, mate." Like, it felt perfectly in character, to be honest. Um, mm. She was good. Uh, what about you, Arya and Adrian? Well, I like the fact that I could be like, oh, you're shit at hunting. No problem. I have my bird. I feed everybody. Mm -hmm. That was kind of cool. And one of the main reasons I wanted a bird, I wanted to have eyes in the sky, which is something that I, I, I really <laughs> like as an idea. So I was like, yes. You just like the mini you off, Like the very first time. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love to have a mini zoo following us around, but at the same time, for now, a bird will do nicely, mm -hmm. I have to yeah. say. So yeah, I'm happy that I have that little ally in the sky, so I'm quite chuffed about that aspect of, of things. Does D&D take into account that the hawk has got magnified vision, for example? Yeah, so it says keen sight. It's got right, um, yeah. percep like it's got advantage on perception checks. Yep, right, all cool. the animals have all that stuff like built into them. Right. Oh, it's got like its attack and everything built into it as well. It's just whether or not our animal handling will cover yeah, it. Yeah. Also, okay. Uya, R U Y A. Yes. Right, cool. It's just so I can add yeah, it. Yeah, I've the... added on the thing. Yeah. I'll yeah. just add it to the character sheet as well. On my stuff. Didn't actually get this. Was it his vision, dreams, viewing, sight? It's all that yeah. kind of thing it covers, which is perfect. That's yeah, cool. that was another reason why I got I went for it. I was like, it's it's vague, but like it goes in all those really interesting places. Yeah, it's good. It's definitely good. Um, 
No, I liked that. It was nice to see you obviously and short roll and amazingly easy with to, it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yell at it as just also the fact that you rolled like was it a one on your combat check, but then literally did those like lower than a twenty for any other check. So <laughs> yeah, it's like I'll just be great right. at everything. Um, anything else, Erin? I I I loved it. I was I just found it funny because I was kind of like a support, like in any other game, whenever the support tries to hit somebody, it's just like the weakest pack ever. <laughs> whereas when they try to do anything else that's like slightly supporty, it immediately works perfectly. So that was kind of funny. No, honestly, like, generally just the best like support character you could possibly have been, even just down to pouring down potions down Reach's throat. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Glug. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, what about you, Scott and Crumber? Uh, that's a good one. Um, what the question? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I've drawn a complete blank right now. I'm trying to remember what we've actually done. It's okay. We'll come, um, we can come back to you if you want to think yeah, about it. Um, you recovered no, from a massive hangover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Both no, in was, and out of the game. <laughs> no, it was, um, I liked it. It was a lot more narrative, and everyone was, you know, you know, kind of going a bit more into. Like, we're discovering more about the actual characters themselves and things. Mm-hmm. Um, Eremos is still a little shit. Um, <laughs> you you seem to obviously not every day, but like definitely Reach is learning more about. Him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've um, got stuff to share, but I can't do it yet. Yeah, listen. Uh, mm. uh, no, it's it's, it's I, I like how the place is, how it's been developing. I like. I mean, I mean, uh, I'm I'm feeling like that there's usefulness that I can do now as well, which is always good. Yeah, because um, you're not as squishy as you like, especially when you've all hit level three. You won't be as squishy as you have been either. Mm. Um, which is I nice. can now cast um, arrows I mean, in there, which is awesome. No. I yeah. think, I mean, I think out of everything though, I think the best thing is is that I got my hand flip back, you know. Yeah, and then roll 19 on um, performance. Like, yeah, Obvi- yeah. I mean, obviously. <laughs> and now now goes uh, Operation Make Kitty Regret every decision she's ever made. <laughs> um, I think as well, the reason why I wanted it to be a bit more chat heavy as well, despite a lot of this being dedicated to that first combat as well, uh, it was just purely because you've had loads of combat before. Um, yeah. Like, I don't mind there being like a combat slog because let's face it, when you go to the abyss, there's going to be a lot of fighting. Like, there's no point in hiding that. Um, oh yeah. Like, if you actually go into the abyss, uh, say if. Geronimo. Yeah. Mm. Like, there's. Don't expect me to be holding back. Put it that way. Um. Because I don't intend to, quite frankly. Uh, but it's like a taste of what's to come. You know that boat fight. There being multiple layers to the boat fight, I did like um, everybody's reaction when it was like, "Oh, he's he's dead!" Like <laughs> that guy at the end. It was like, "Yeah, it was, oh, it was like the pirate uh, captain Bandito, whatever yeah. Bandito." Yeah, um, he was so tough, and then this magic dagger flying <laughs> prick shows up, and you're like, "Oh, great!" Now it's like you know how whenever boss fights have a second stage and it just gets harder. Mm-hmm. I thought that was going to be that, and it's like, oh, he's dead, and all I did was jump on a boat. Great. Yeah, but think about it, right. If he'd came on to the fight, and then we're kind of skipping out a turn here with all this nonsense chat, but like, if he'd came on to the fight along with Pirate Captain Bandito, uh, which seems to just be his name there. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like there was what eight of those other guys. And the pirate yeah, captain, really and really him, really and both. Really the damage that that guy could put out, the guy with the juggler guy, the damage he could put out with the daggers versus the sheer survivability of the captain, fighting them at the same time would have been horrible. But also at the same time, it almost seems like that guy wasn't there to fight anyway. He was there to hide stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So. I mean, why would you want your guy that hides things? Because keep in mind, if he's casting spells like, say, invisibility on a ship, he's going to be concentrating on that shit, right? He doesn't want to be in a fight for that. Mm. So, and stealth boat is scarier than, you know, a guy chucking some daggers. But, also, 
weird demony man speech. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 creepy. I like yeah. that. So that was interesting because obviously it seemed like he was a bit more. I mean, he killed the captain as well. Keep that in mind. Mm hmm. So. Um, it'll be definitely interesting to see if he crops up again. What about you, Kay? And Sophie? Mm -hmm. As I've been saying, everybody's name and character name. <laughs> yep. Uh, just, just your thoughts on the session and your review and things you like, didn't like, etc. This is the, the cooldown chat. I did enjoy it. Uh, the kid always annoys me though. Whenever he starts being like, "Duh," it's like, mm. it's yeah. like very. I just literally roll my eyes every time. Like, God dang. Yeah, pretty much. I have a niece and nephew, and they are a glorious source of inspiration. Um, <laughs> for this kid, my, my niece and nephew are absolutely lovely. Inspiration. But there's always a but in that, isn't there? And uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm just going to give a wee shout out to uh, both Roxy and Riley, as we, we may as well name drop them here. Thank you for uh, the inspiration. <laughs> Thank yep. you for the inspiration for the annoying child. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't say that. But yeah, the. Yeah, it's good because, I mean, what else do you expect? This kid is like, he's been stolen from his sheltered life. Right, I say stolen yeah. loosely. I, I mean that in the, the grander sense, right? Because he's left willingly. As soon as a uh, Arya was like adventuring, he's like, ah, I could be in a story. Yep, yep. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a bit. I mean, so many things are new for him. Like even when Reach said to him, he's like, you know, does it hurt? And he's like, what? What, what do you even mean? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not that bothered about you know him being. A annoying at times because he doesn't really know how to process the world. He's not seen much of it, but I do love the fact that like you can totally tell that he's been around kids because like the speech sort of thing. That's like I'm like yeah, that's that's spot on. So that's oh, do you mean sorry? Whatever. Do you mean me? Sorry, okay, like um. Up. Yeah, yeah. No, oh. I mean it's. I could definitely see that you're in. You've spent time with like actual kids and you've kind of like picked up on how they talk when they're annoyed and mm. whatever the, the so I can understand why he would be getting yeah I can understand why he would be acting that way if he'd be completely and utterly not used to being around people mm -hmm. that does, I'm, I'm glad uh, you're appreciating my annoying or NPC, it's always <laughs> nice when uh, they're appreciated um, yeah anything else with uh, Katie, sorry? no, that was kind of it cool Good game, hate kid. A, Got it. it. Went at a decent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it went at a decent pace, so. Yeah, considering that was our longest session we've had, guys. Um, it is, yeah. It is actually, yeah. Yep. Um, also, oh, you got a nice shiny this this session. I don't know if uh, obviously Kitty's likely to keep that to herself. Um, of course. I got a shiny. But yeah, it was. Um, you got a shiny. Yeah. I got a shiny. I got some treasure. Yep, Where did yep. you get a shiny from? I was got stabbed with it. Yeah. What, sorry? I got stabbed with it. <laughs> that's okay. one way. Yep, that's definitely a phrase. We're not taking out of context <laughs> at all. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it turns out her and, Ar oh. her and Arnold updated their uh, Facebook pages, uh, so they're now in a relationship. <laughs> oh. No, it was it was fine. Um, but yeah, I won't go into it anymore, that's up to Kitty and Sophie to reveal as the game goes on. But yeah, what about you, uh, Reach and Stuart? Oh, I should be getting to enjoy the kid. Oh, I like the kid. Oh, so anyway, uh, I guess we're all enjoying it one way or another. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, Yeah, I think it's interesting. That's, uh, that's yeah, that thing that Sophie rolled on a long time ago that she never thought was going to come back when she was burning stuff in the brazier. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is it only destroyed messages so. mm. that's what I'm kind of curious about anyway uh, also love it but I'm leveling again mm -hmm. leveling is awesome yeah. is it way of the sun soul by the way do you remember yeah. that I think yeah was the one? it is it is indeed that is your thing that is your job. Are we leveling up tonight then? If, we, uh, if people level. want to level up tonight, yeah, I'm going to stop our recording in a wee second once we wrap up everything uh, mm -hmm. that we want to do, and we'll do our leveling off recording if need be, and we'll do a review 
whatever people can do whatever they want at their own pace. Um, anything else you want to add to before we? It was nice to almost die again. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> yeah, you're you're really coasting that. Yep. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, dream Probably. dying is the the worst dying you've done so far though. Uh, yes. that, that was, was that was actually yeah, double death, horrible. I think, in right that one. It was. It was completely pretty bad. Death, yeah. Um, this is uh, no wonder you you like the kid because he dreamt that. So uh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't real death. Yeah, not no. not ideal. Although the weird moment with Celeste was interesting, but that's interesting. Yeah, no real, no RDs, please. Yeah, it's uh, not good. That's the downside as well. Playing a game where death is a very viable possibility is the well, making a new character is an excellent opportunity. Oh, yeah. Sometimes losing a character yeah. that you've developed is sad. Right, and I was going to ask, what actually happens if somebody dies? Uh, it depends on the circumstances. Like, too various the context, but I mean, if you can somehow like, bring them back, yeah, but like, until yeah. then, he's. Are you saying I'm gonna fail? Is that what's going on? Mm? <laughs> I mean, if somebody. No, 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 that's exactly what you're implying. The only worry that's we need to work out is, is are you too far away from Reach to resurrect them? That's all we need to worry about, because yeah. that's what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> all of my old characters. Uh, well, like, Stooges has the worst luck when it comes to death saves, and generally it's keeping his HP in his body. Um, but no, like on that note, like for, like we've discussed it before, like, if you guys die, you just, you just die. Like, I'm, as I said, I'm not holding back, you shouldn't hold back. Um, there needs to be threat in the game, otherwise, if I just say, well, you can't die, why would you ever worry about any fight? No, but I'm guessing if we ever did, we could uh, create up a new character. Of course, yeah, I'm not just kicking you yeah. out. Yeah, like, yeah uh, no, that, that's what I mean. It's not a GG, thanks for playing. <laughs> Goodbye! Game. It's just me and Kitty at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, relegated to become a viewer only. Um... Uh, you can play Ruya, the hawk. Um, oh my god, I totally could. No! <laughs> no! Ruya eats uh, kitty. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh. But anyway, let's not go off topic too much. But yeah, if you die, um, write in a new character. And keep in mind that death isn't always the end of the journey. Um, like, if you somehow find a way to bring people back, I don't mind if you play a filler character until you can resurrect your old character. It just would take an absolute fuck ton of story on your part. Um, cause I ain't making that part easy. That I don't mind crafting stuff like that into the game if it makes sense. But yeah, um, death isn't always the end, as we know in general through the mysticism of fantasy games. But for me, death needs to be on the table. Otherwise, yeah, there's no threat. And then how would we kill things? Also, just how would you feel <laughs> healers mattered? Right? It wouldn't, because you'd be like, oh, we can't die, really. I was like, no, you can. Like reach as proof of this many times, uh, mm -hmm. and will be most likely. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I like the part where they stop breathing. Um, but yeah, like keep just keep that in mind, guys. That if you want to introduce like NPCs from backstories and stuff, just run stuff by me. I need more time than like you know the day before, obviously. Um, two days before, ideally, or more, um, so I can try and work stuff into story and narrative. Uh, for example, let's say if Crumbar had like a best friend or even a brother in the Golden Order or some shit like that. Like if that was stuff where we're um, putting in, mm. I'd like to have uh, all that in advance. You just need to tell me when you put stuff on the drive, so that I can yeah. notice it and go and review it. As I said to you, Scott, I'll review your backstory at some point this week. Yeah, yeah, that's why I didn't want mm. to. I didn't go into too much of it. Which I appreciate because obviously I haven't yeah. like reviewed it all yet. But that's fine. Uh, besides that, uh, we've leveled goal wise. Um, I'm not going to ask you guys what you want the next goal to be straight away, unless you all have suggestions now somehow, uh, which is fine. If you do, lobby me with them now. But this is the part where you need to remember that you won't get XP till you create a new goal. So in uh, pending goals, if we come up with one throughout now and the next session, can we throw one into pending goals and then can. we can review it? Cool. Yeah, of course. That, I mean, this is why you all have access to that. So we've completed, obviously, reach the golden citadel. That's excellent. Um, you need another main goal. That's what you all need, because uh, you've got there. What's next? Obviously, find out what happen is happening at the abyss. Might become the new main goal, but that's currently still your long-term goal. So, mm. really, it's up to you guys to keep this stuff in mind. Because remember, that will be our chat at the start of the game, uh, next session, which we'll organise. Um, but yeah, you all have access to this 
dump in what your ideas are. Um, obviously don't delete existing data in here because that's just rude. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I've got anything else to add except every day thanks for playing. It was a really good session, really good character building, really good uh, exploration of the world again because everybody asks questions about different parts of the world as well so we got to explore mm. some of the world uh, which for me is a lot of fun. I've said world too much and yeah, thanks for playing. Thank you. Yes. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye, Bye everyone.